Hey, what is going on, everybody? Jerma here with the mighty quest for epic loot. Said it correct. Good, because I've been saying, like, the mighty epic quest for loot, and it's that's not correct. Uh, it's a pretty long title, and that can be a little bit of a pain sometimes when you try to tell people about it. When you get in a conversation with somebody, you're like, Hey, have you heard of this game, The Mighty Quest for Epic Loot? They're like, uh, what did you just say? Are you okay? Do you need to go to the hospital? But no, this is a uh, this is an action RPG, guys, and it's one of those action RPGs that's not really classified as a 100% action RPG. It's sort of a mishmash of a few different genres, which makes it really, really cool, and, and I really hope that uh, before I really even get into this, uh, this is in closed beta right now. It just came out of alpha, and it's in a very early beta stage. So if something changes from this video in the next six months or so as they're developing the game, then that's why. But I really do hope, I, I'm praying to Ubisoft, who are the guys that are making this game, I really do pray that they take this game in a direction that is fun. Because uh, sometimes games like this can really just be a money sink, and I really hope that is absolutely not the case. So with that being said, we're going to talk about the actual basics of the game here. And the basics of this game are, you build a castle, or a dungeon, whatever one you want to call it. It's, it's, they're called castles. And other players come to loot it. Depending on how difficult you make it, how much time you spend getting resources to create the dungeon and create the monsters, other players are going to attack it. If they succeed, they take a portion of your money and your gems, or your diamonds, or whatever you want to call them. And the thing is... You do the exact same thing. There are two different phases in this game. There are the defense stage, where you build your castle up for people to come attack it, and the attack stage, where you go do the same thing that I just said to other people. And the really cool thing about the defense aspect of the game is, unfortunately, you can't see things happen in real time, somebody attacking your castle, but after they're done, you can watch a replay of them going through and doing everything, in almost in real time, but not quite. It's a saved replay. But I find that, that feature very, very cool, because you can go back and watch and see where people were having trouble in your castle, where they were just plowing through, having absolutely no problem at all, taking out all the monsters. It's an awesome feature. And if they die in your castle, there's a clickable icon in the pinpoint location where they died, where if you click it, you get 125 gold. So they made the defense portion of this game satisfying, because instead of it just being, oh, you have to go and uh, loot castles and attack castles to make any money, no, you can make a pretty decent amount of money if you have a really good defense in your castle. So that's a, two thumbs up. That's a cool feature. So moving on to the combat, the combat is pretty straightforward. If you played any action RPG in your life, you have the click to move, click to attack, and a couple of spells at your disposable. Disposable diapers. Uh, <laughs> so there are only three classes in the game right now, two of which are playable right out of the gate. The second you install the beta, you can play as the archer and the knight. The mage, the third and final class as it stands right now, can only be played in the beta if you buy him. You have to buy the mage and buy into the beta. It's a, they, they have tiers. There's the, to get into the beta, then there's the other pack, then there's like the founder's pack. You have to buy into it to play as the mage. But everything is going to be free to play. You're not going to have to buy anything. Everything will be open. This is just for the beta purposes, to test things in advance. But it's really cool looting other castles, really cool fighting other people's stuff, seeing how they did things, and then maybe stealing their ideas. I've done that quite a few times so far. And the one thing that is not... I know it's a beta, and I know I'm talking about the beta right now, but there's not a whole lot of loot in this game yet. There's different rarities, there's different item qualities that drop, that you can deck your character out, but there's not very much stuff. There's only a couple of different things you can really get that you really want, and the upgrades come very sparsely. You can make your own gear anyways, uh, using either in-game currency or gold that you acquire. And I understand that balance purpose is because you're going up against other players' castles and their money is at stake, well, their in-game money is at stake, and your money is at stake, you have to... Gear, you can't have, like, crazy overpowered gear because it's more about the strategy of finding ways through castles, putting different skill combinations. That's more important than having an amazing gear set. But it still is important. It still should be there. Stood, sh stood she'll be a thing. But you guys get it. You guys understand. So now we're going to talk about the in-game currency and what it does. Uh, when you get into the beta, you get 1,500 of these gems, green gems. And what you do with them is when you do various tasks, when you build certain things in your castle, 
it's going to take time. It's going to take upwards of six hours to complete building sometimes. And how you skip that? Just like games like Farmville and the Smurfs Super Fun Village, so some of these Facebook and iOS type games, you can speed up the process by using the in-game currency. Now, it's not to an extent right now where I would say it's completely bogus to have it in the game because there are while you're having things be building sometimes they take like 10 minutes sometimes they take like 45 minutes but while that happens you can go and play the other half of the game you can go and loot dungeons you can go build your character out you can go try out new builds that makes it so it's a lot less painful to have to sit there and wait and force yourself to buy in-game currency to finish your buildings with that said, though, this type of currency and this type of mechanic is really, really treading on a very thin line where when you cross that line, you get to pay to win. And I, they haven't got there yet, but it's right there. It's staring at pay to win in the face. I really hope they don't make anything in this game where it's like, oh yeah, alright, so you want to build your dungeon? Oh, that's cool. If you don't pay this money, then it's going to take you two weeks to build this part of the dungeon, and everyone else has a dungeon way cooler than yours, because they already did it. I really hope that doesn't happen, because this game is really, really fun, really addicting in its current state, and they're going to be adding a lot of stuff. This is a very early beta, and this is my impression so far on the beta, not really on the... If you're finding this video months or even years later, this was a first impressions video of the beta. So keep that in mind when you're watching this. It's a fantastic, fun little game, and how you get into the beta, you can sign up for it on the Mighty Quest Repic Loot site, and they pick people all the time. Or you can get directly into the beta right now for 10 bucks USD. And what that's going to do, it's going to unlock the first two character classes to test, the Knight and the Archer. And it's going to give you 1,500 in-game currency to be able to play around with. So if you want to get right into the beta right now, you think this is your cup of tea, then you can do it for 10 bucks. And if not, you can just sign up and hopefully you get picked. And if you don't care at all, then whatever then who cares <laughs> but that's gonna wrap this video up guys thank you all so much for watching this has been the mighty quest for epic loot a fun little game by ubisoft if you want to check it out check it out and i'll see y'all next time and of course take care everybody <laughs>